You're thinking reverse. Back up, back up, back up. Royce, 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 Royce Wheeler. Wait a minute, you're... Royce, come here. Your teammates aren't ready. Just because they blow the whistle doesn't mean you kick the ball. You have to wait for your teammates to be ready. Okay. They go, huddle! What is it like to have your dad as a coach? It's cool, it's fun. How much would you say would you run the ball in a game? Yeah, two times, maybe three. Two or three times, so would you say that's pretty average along with everybody else that plays in the game? Not everybody, but most. Most, okay. How do you feel about that? Good. Good, because I mean, how do you how do you feel being the coach's son on the team? Do you, do you want to be the coach's favorite, or do you just want to kind of fly right in the middle of everything? I don't really care. It doesn't really matter to you. No. Are you so you're pretty happy to just be on the team and, and have your friends on the team and and uh, and be able to just play like every other player, right? Yeah. I like to grow. I grew up like liking football because every Sunday my dad would my dad would pull the couches in pull the couch and chairs in right close to the TV and we would watch um, Sunday football and we'd watch the Lions play the Packers or the Bears or something like that. And uh, Sat and then Saturdays, um, Saturday college game day when we watched Michigan State was fun. And I've always wanted to do, do what he did never got a chance to do and that's to go to college to play college football. We would go over to the field and throw passes for hours, and that's what I just remember growing up doing that. Because it seems like he's kind of trailing you guys. So you yes, he, he whatever sports we do, um, he will coach us in. Like he has no idea how to play soccer. I was really into soccer. That was like the first sport I ever played, and I remember. My, so I was on this club team called Black Diamond Soccer Club for a little bit while, and I remember the first tournament that we ever won. My dad was coaching, and he had no clue how to do it. We won our first tournament because our head coach was out of town. I miss playing, but I will take I would take coaching over playing. I enjoy coaching my kids more than looking back as much as I enjoyed playing. Coaching them is so much fun. Yeah. It is, to, and to see them improve. And sadly, it's hard to coach your own kid. I'll see other kids improve more rapidly than my own kid, and it's probably it's just because I'm because it's me coaching my kid. If it was you coaching my kid, he'd probably improve faster. So sadly, by, co by coaching, I'm probably holding my kids back. Okay, stop staying back, you gotta go. So Royce, when they throw it your way, you go, okay? So who did you come in for, Andre? Andre and Gus, we're good. Okay, Royce, it's gotta go 10 yards, buddy. Hammer it, can you do it? Can you do it? All right. So going back to having your dad as a coach, what do you think is difficult having him as a coach? Like, where, where do you think it's it's hard for you, as a player, to have to call your dad to call your dad coach instead of dad? If I do something that he doesn't like, he has the ability to take it out a little bit harder. Whether it's here or at home. Yeah. You, you'll you'll hear about it at home as well as on the field. Yeah. You know, daddy ball and all that stuff when the dad gets the kid to the ball. I have it on my first flag football team and that he's decided to coach. So, um, he's always been not daddy ball. Like, he's, he wants to, because I'm not that best at running the ball. I'm good at throwing, but um, I'm still struggling at running. But he will almost never daddy ball to me. He will always give it to another kid before he gives it to me. Do you ever have that stereotype? of people that think, like other players that think, you know, oh, you're, oh your dad's one of the coaches, so you're gonna, get, you're gonna get preferential treatment. There's been some kids who do not play football anymore, who, yes, were like that and complained about it. It's weird, you know, you, you, you can take it one of two ways. You know, you, take, you see a lot of coaches that, dad coaches that do the daddy ball, where their kid gets the ball all the time, and then there's the opposite, where you, the, dad, the coach's kid never gets the ball. You know, so like my youngest, Royce, last year, if I ever missed a game because I had two coaches and two teams at the same time, sometimes I had to go to the older one's game, the other assistant coaches gave Royce the ball six, seven times a game and he'd get touchdowns, where when I was there, he'd only get two or three carries a game, and I felt that was enough. You know, it's like, okay. He, but the other coaches want to give him the ball more because they, 
they saw that his potential and that he could gain the yards that we needed and yeah. where I'm the opposite. I don't give my kid the ball. He's got to earn it. He's got to earn it. He really is put in a position where he either, you know, he either has to not use you as much because he's worried about people having that perception that he's, you know, he's playing daddy ball with you or he uses you too much and then that perception is confirmed. Do you think he's choosing the lesser of two evils by having you play less? and just having it be between him and you, rather than having it him be against him and the team. Do you think he's choosing that lesson? He's, I think he's choosing the right thing by like not doing that, and I agree with it. I agree with it 100%, because in basketball, whenever, because I used, because I, I was the first one on my basketball team to ever shoot threes, mm -hmm. and my other coach does not like shooting three-pointers, but now he does, but as younger, he did not like it. Mm -hmm. And I was the one that got to shoot three-pointers, and a lot of kids thought that was a little daddy ball going on, but my dad pulled us aside for like 30 minutes, talked about, go ahead and shoot as many shots as you want. I do not care. Yeah. He is doing what he wants. So it's more like um, not daddy ball. It's the opposite. So, some kids do not play on my teams anymore who used to think that was daddy ball. And now I do not know what they're doing, but I know they're not playing sports, because... So, yeah, I make situational decisions as if they're not my son, they're just a player. And I probably, am, I err on the, the wrong side, like, I don't, want, I don't want people to think I'm playing daddy ball so my son doesn't get the ball. Or I don't want, he doesn't get to play linebacker because I don't want people to think I'm playing daddy ball. And it you sounds know? like you want to avoid that stigma with among parents where it's like, oh, coaches can always get the ball. Yep. And it sounds like you want to avoid that, so you're, you're choosing the lesser of two evils. It is. And I want that, and I, and I stress earn it. You have to earn it. You have to earn it. So, and I've always said the game of football will separate it. Four games into the season, we know who's leading the team in tackles, whether you were playing defensive end, defense tackle, or linebacker. So, and then we'll move you around accordingly because you, your best tacklers need to be playing linebacker. They just have the most opportunities to tackle then. So, my kid currently playing defensive end, the other one's playing corner. Well, if they start making tackles, they'll get to move to linebacker. If they don't, they'll, they'll stay in the positions they're in.